All right, so talk to me about what happened to your sons on Saturday. On Saturday, I received a call that my sons were hit by a car um, that I needed to get to the ER. Um, from what my sons tell me, they was leaving that library over there on 25th Street. They, as soon as they left, they said they saw the van and they were riding their bikes and the vans just ran, the van ran into both of them, knocked them off their bikes, gave them some scraping bruises. The people out there were trying to stop the van, but the man just kept on going and my sons were hurt and their bikes was terribly damaged. Where are the bikes now, do you know? I have no idea because they rode in the ambulance. So I don't have a clue where the bikes are, but I know they were damaged. Um, can I film your hand with the, the door knob? Yeah. All right. So uh, what, what are you holding right here? I'm holding the handle that one of my sons held on to while the van was pulling away. And this was something that I went back out there the next day and I found laying on the street. So I assume this is what my son told me he pulled off. So he pulled the, the door handle off the pickup truck. They tell me it's a pickup truck. Yes. What did they tell you about that pickup truck? And I've got to confirm through police. That, the, what, the, what was on it? The van had triple sixes written on it. And it may have had out of state tags. Florida tags? Yes. Possibly. Is it weird to you hearing that the spray paint was 666 on the side? Yes, that's very weird. But we also know that that's the devil's. That's the devil's number, triple sixes. So I'm kind of concerned. Was this just a hate crime or what? Um, talk about the, the injuries your sons went, uh, had. Was it anything broken or? No, they just had minor strapes and springs. Um, one of my sons had strapes in the front of the leg. His ankle was also hurting, but it was this sprain. My other son was complaining of knee and shoulder pain. Did any of them get tossed on top of the front hood of the truck and then roll off, or how, how did it happen? No, my son said that when he when he hit him, he fell to the right, and that's why his shoulder was hurting. And I asked him, did they ever holler or anything? Did anybody try to stop the truck? They said yes. The man looked back and kept going. What are you asking, folks? I'm asking for, if you see this van, please let the Richmond police know about it. And if you know of this guy, just please convince him just come to, to come forward because my sons could have really been hurt or injured and maybe killed. You know, all you have to do is just come and turn yourself into the Richmond police and we can go from there because a lot more could have happened. My sons could have lost their life. Strike you as odd that this is right across the street from the police precinct. I mean, it is within 100 feet of the police precinct. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. So quick response. Yes. Actually, my sons went in the police station to get the police and let them know what was going on. Wow. Anything else about having police talk to you about the surveillance video or anything like that? Do they, do they know mm. if they... Because what I've been told, he turned off of Carrington on the 25th, hit your sons, and kept going towards Fairmount. Yes, that's what I was told also, but I haven't heard anything back from the Richmond police yet. Uh, your sons are back at school today? Yes, they're back at school today. And actually, the reason they're not doing this interview is because they're scared for their life. They don't know who this person is and why may he have hit them and looked back at them and kept on going instead of stopping to see what their injuries was and calling the police and an ambulance if needed. And, and also the reason why you don't want to show your face because you just don't know who this, this person is. Yes, definitely. Uh, anything else that you can think of that I'm forgetting that you want out there? No, nothing at this time. I just want this person to come forward, and I'm quite sure with 666 written on the side that this vehicle will be really known and who the driver is. Just to come forward and turn yourself in because this could have been a lot worse, and it's always two sides to a story, but you hit two children. Those were not adults, and even if they was, same thing applies. These was children. Gotta stop. Gotta stop. Spelling your first and last name. Uh, N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S. C-O-S-S-U-M. Uh, pretty recognizable van you drive. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised to hear this was the focal point of a hit and run investigation? Yeah. 
Why is that? Why was I surprised? Yeah. Oh, so I mean, on Saturday I did like run into a kid on his bike, but like I tapped him as I was making a right turn. He didn't fall over, and I talked to him, and he was fine. And then his like brother started getting aggressive with the car, and that's when I drove off. So like I didn't realize I was leaving the scene an accident. Like they said they were okay, or at least one of them said they were okay. I hope they are. I didn't realize they had to go to the hospital later. How fast do you think you hit? I mean, I went from stop to like I moved into him. You know, like less than a mile an hour. So what, what did the brother do? I mean, I, obviously I saw the handle. So the other brother like like hit my car and then like pulled the front handle and broke it, then pulled the second handle all the way off. Like that's when I left because I didn't want to like be with a belligerent child, like kid. Like I didn't want to escalate that situation anymore. Hindsight's 2020. When you look back at this, what do you wish you would have done? I wish I would have like gone across the street to the police precinct and reported it to them, and then talked to them then. Because uh, you had no idea all this was going on. You had no idea of a story on it. No, I don't have a television, so I didn't know until this morning when the police came to talk to me that it was even like a thing that people were like looking for my van or wanted me to turn. If I had known that, I definitely would have, like contacted the police much or like I would have told them and talked to them. What What are they saying now? They're, doing, they're taking your van because it's part of evidence? Uh, yeah, it's involved in a hit and run like, investigation, so they're taking it to look at it. How, what does that make you feel? I mean, do you, you feel like your side of the story is not being fairly represented? Uh, I mean, I never felt like it was a hit and run. I feel bad, and if this is what has to happen to like, get this all resolved, then I mean, I just want to get this resolved and you know, everyone to be okay. Because you bike, mm -hmm. you know the biking laws. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you pay attention to bikers on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. These kids were on the wrong side of the road. Not that this makes it okay, but they were coming against traffic, right? They were biking on the sidewalk, like going against traffic, yeah. And I just didn't see, like, I looked right, looked left again, and then started to go, and then, like, said, like, hit one of them. Before I made it, like, all the way into the street, like, I moved maybe a foot and a half and, like, hit this kid. Pouring down rain. Yeah, it was Saturday. So it was, like, when the hurricane was coming up. What do you say to these kids, man, that, uh, you know, obviously, I mean, you talk to them there, mm -hmm. but now obviously they've launched kind of an investigation against you, which is, from what, what it sounds like through your, your eyes, this, this is not even partially true. Uh, I mean, I just hope you guys are okay. I'm sorry I hit you. You hope mm. they tell the truth. Uh, yeah, I mean, most I just hope they're okay. And I assume this will all get resolved eventually anyways, but yeah. And I'm, again, sorry I hit you. Um, how long have you lived here, man? I moved to Richmond in uh, June. Okay. From Florida? From California. California.